That's it, ready to go now. And uh, they're off and racing for the Skybet Ebor handicap of 2021. And uh, away he goes, was a little bit slowly into stride. So too was uh, Mount Leinster, but they're going to be dropped in those two. And the early pace is coming from Yukon Glenn, who finds his way in front by a couple of lengths. Racing apart from them on the far side, though, uh, from his high draw is Eagles by Day. He'll gradually come across. Already they're quite well strung out. Eagles by Day on the far side, Yukon Glenn on the near side. And then Quickthorn is racing handily in third place as they race on now past the mile and a half start. Roberto Escobar is amongst the leaders. So too is on to victory. Shanro is not too far behind the leading group as well in the green jacket. And then uh, just uh, behind this, the, the leaders then is Pablo Escobar in the white cap. And also uh, Tribal Craft is weighted with out towards the rear of the field. Alanak, his uh, stable companion, is in the rear half as well. Followed by Ilarab. Miran is in there on the rail too. And the Mount Leinster in the red jacket. Just about the back marker here for Jason Watson as the runners head over on the far side now down towards the mile start. So Humanitarian has come through now to take over from Yukon Glen with on the outside now Blue Cup in the green cap. Joining in in fourth place, Eagles by Day. Quick Thorn and then Fujera Prince last year's winner of the Grey is next. Then on to victory, Roberto Escobar in the green cap is followed on the inside by Shanro. And then comes Makawi, who's normally a front runner, but is restrained today. Miran is on the inside towards the back. Global Storm is another one that's waited with, with Irarab on the inner. Sunny Boy Liston is in the rear quarter of the field as well, as indeed is uh, Mount Leinster. Still hasn't made a move yet, Adam. Uh, Jason Watson, rather, at the back of the field. Max Vegas out towards the back as well in the red jacket with quite a bit on too as they turn down towards the entrance to the home straight. So about 12 lengths between first and last, and Blue Cup lead them in, leads them in in the Skybet Ebor here. From in the inside, then Humanitarian in second place. You can Glenn still in there pitching. Quickthorn, Eagles by Day, Fujera Prince, and Roberto Escobar in the green cap getting into it. Just behind these, then on to victory, followed then by Miran, who's staying on in the white sleeves. On the far right, then is Shanro behind them, then trying to pick up is Ilarab, who's under pressure. Makawi, Max Vega, no move yet then from Global Storm, who's struggling. Tribal Craft is under pressure on the inside as they race up now inside the final quarter mile. Quickthorn taken on by Sunny Boy Liston, who's come from a long way back here. They go but the battle this out inside the final furlong. Alanak running on with on the far side Shanro. Great battle on the near side though. Sunny Boy Liston is delivering a knockout blow and is just in front. And Sunny Boy Liston is going to win the Ebor narrowly from Quickthorn. And then Alanak was back in third. Shanro, Max Vega stayed on for fifth, followed by Roberto Escobar in sixth. His Skybot Ebor success with Sunny Boy Liston is the latest landmark victory for Ben Cohen in the Salinson Jockey's burgeoning career. Many, many congratulations, Ben. Talk me through the race. How did it develop for you? Thanks. Yeah, uh, look, I, I jumped smart and took back, but um, I thought I was a bit actually far back and um, uh, there was a couple of keen and a bit of pace got injected, so I was happy enough then. But um, I he raced very lazily and uh, three out, I gave him a kick and... He really picked up for me. I, he was able to take the gaps when they came, and um, he idled a bit when he got there, but um, I'm still pinching myself that he won, so uh, no, unbelievable. I think it, it helped that they got racing quite a way out, and he was able to get into it. Would you say that would be fair? Yeah, that's it. Look, um, he was he's a lazy horse to go through his race, Annie, but when you, when you need him, he's there. But, um, yeah, when they got racing good and early, I was happy, but um, because I know he stays mile and six well, and... He was coming here in the farm of his life, so um, I was looking forward to riding him, but um, I'm still pinching myself that I passed the line in front. You had to be gutsy in the finish as well. Yeah, no, um, I've, I was looking for the line, but to be fair, the last 50 yards, my lad really really stuck his head out for me, but um, yeah, I'm delighted for Johnny and the team at home, so uh, unbelievable day. Tell me about working for Johnny, because from the outside, it, it looks to me that since you and he have hooked up, it's given you a huge amount of confidence and taken your career to another level. How do you feel it's gone? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, look, he, he gives me confidence going out in all them big races. Um, he lets me do my own thing. We make a plan and stick to it. But um, look, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. I've learned so much in the last year and a half, two years I've been there. And... Um, it's a great yard to work in every morning. I bounce out of the bed to, to go in every morning and um, 
just a good buzz around the place the whole time. But um, he's always so positive, and that just that just gives anyone the confidence to go out and ride with a bit of, a bit of, a bit of confidence. So um, yeah, unbelievable. Well, his training career is very much going in the right direction as well, but it must be so helpful for you in particular that he's got experience, he, he understands what you're going through because he's been through it himself. Yeah, that's it. Look, any question you have, all you need to do is pick his brains um, because he'll probably have the answer for it anyway. So, um, yeah, no, unbelievable. He's, he was the man for all them big races. So um, if you ever have a question, all you need to do is ask and he'll help you out. And has he helped you as well with managing your weight? Because as I understand it, Frambeau was saying to me that you've, you've got the better of that. You know, it was something that, you, that used to trouble you, but now you're on top of it? Yeah, no, definitely. Look, he doesn't push me to do weights. I don't want to um, he, keep it at nine stone during the week. And if, he said, if I want to do a bit lighter in the weekends for the bigger races, he says do. But um, yeah, he was there struggling with his weight as well. But since I've been in Johnny's, it's really levelled out. And yeah. Um, I, I'm enjoying it a lot more. It's about having a long career, isn't it? A yeah. long-lasting career. Yeah, that's it. Look, he doesn't, he doesn't force you to do an extra two pounds lighter than you need to be doing, so that's a big help. And from your perspective, you must be pleased with the way things are going. Your first Ascot winner, Ottoman Emperor, a really significant success at Goodwood, and now success here at York. That must be... Um, you must feel proud of yourself for getting to this level. Yeah, unbelievable. Look, um, I love coming over here to ride in the big races and to come home with winners is, um, is icing on the top of the cake. But, um, yeah, I'm still pinching myself with all these winners, so i um, <laughs> delighted. And now he's talking about the Irish and Ledger. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, he's entered in that, so... Um, looking hopefully he bounces out of this well and uh, I think he'd have a fighting chance now. OK, well, it's great to talk to you, Ben. I look forward to talking to you many more times in future after significant races. Well done. Thank you.